Welcome to clickmyproject.com. This project will lead us to packet hiding methods for preventing selective jamming attacks. Let us see the abstract of our project. The open nature of the wireless medium leaves it vulnerable to intentional interference attacks, typically referred to as jamming. We address the problem of selective jamming attacks in wireless sensor networks. We show that selective jamming attacks can be launched by performing real-time packet classification at the physical layer. To reduce these attacks, we develop three schemes that prevent real-time packet classification by combining cryptographic primitives with physical layer attributes. We analyze the security of our methods and evaluate their computational and communication overhead. Let us see the flow of our project. We take a text file as a data to transfer from sender to receiver as an input. To securely transfer the data, we are going to hide the packets. So, before hiding the packets, we have to split the data into packets. So, here we are splitting the data into n number of packets. Here, the packets are split depends upon the number of KBs. If we have 10 KB data, it will be split into 10 packets. Then, each of the packet is encrypted. After encryption, it will be compressed. If we have 5 packets, then all those 5 packets will be compressed and stored into a location. Then we are going to permute the data. So to permute the data, here we combine two process. Number one is the compressed encrypted data packets and number two is the data size, the overall data size and the secret key we used to encrypt the data. So here we combine those two and again we are compressing the data. After this dual compression, we are going to send the data. Before sending the data, we have to secure the data. To provide high security, we are going to create a puzzle. Here we are creating a numeric puzzle based on operator precedence. After creating the puzzle, we are going to set time constraint. Here we are adding one minute. We are setting the one minute time to solve the puzzle. If the user can solve the puzzle within a minute, he can get the data. Otherwise, he can't get the data. So we are setting three conditions. Number one, if the hacker or user, if the hacker can solve the puzzle, he can get. Here we are creating the puzzle and hiding the data to make it more secure and it should not be hacked by the hacker. So we are creating a puzzle which is not solved by the hacker. The three conditions are Number one, right answer. Number two, wrong answer. And number three, timeout. If the answer is right but it's timed out, then he can't get data. If it is a right answer, then he can get the data. So here the data is transferred and after transferring the data, the receiver can receive the data packets, the compressed data packets, not the actual data. To get the actual data, you need to proceed this flow reversely to get the actual data so it will be unzipped first to get the all those data packets and the data packets are encrypted and you need to decrypt the data using the key that we provide and after decrypting we have to merge the data and after merging the data we can get the actual data finally we evaluate our process using AES and Blowfish algorithm. Here we are comparing the AES and Blowfish algorithm and hence we prove that our method is efficient than the existing method. 
let us execute the process here open the project in NetBeans and open the source package here we'll have a package named packet hiding here we have to run a sender.java here we have to browse the process I mean the data which is to be sent to the receiver I'm selecting the process I mean the data so uh, the files are split it will be stored in D drive here so uh, the data is the data size is 69 KB so here there are 69 splits in D drive you can have a, a folder named hide so here there are 69 splits the data size is 69 KB so it is split into 69 splits in D drive the folder named hide is created and those splits are stored into this folder click OK so here we are going to encrypt each of the splits just give any key click permute those six sorry 69 splits are encrypted and it shows file encrypted here you can see the encrypted file name here it is demo 50.txt.enc.68.txt this is the file encrypted file name and it is stored in this location in D drive under the folder encrypt D the file name is this so for each of the splits it will be shown here click OK and uh, here too we can see so in D drive there will be a file folder name encrypt dt here we are having the encrypted files This is the encrypted text for the first split. Likewise, for each of the split, we can have the encrypted text. Here we are going to hide the data, I mean compress the data. Zip file is created for all of the splits. Click OK. And here you can see the zip file. So the zip file is compressed. So uh, here we are having those uh, 69 splits. We are compressed those data. Click hide key. The key and key length is compressed. Click OK. So here we can see key and key. Data size. Close. Sorry. So here in permutation there is a file so this is the file size in bytes the key is this is here yeah. and uh, here we are having the already compressed data yeah, in this file we are having uh, that uh, 69 encrypted splits Click proceed. Here we are going to create a puzzle. Puzzle is generated. Click send. So the data is sent and now the receiver is going to receive the data. Click receive data. So to receive the data we have to solve the puzzle. Right? Click OK. And it shows that you have one minute to solve the puzzle. Your time starts now. Once you click OK, your, your time will be started. So this is a puzzle. So here we have to calculate it within a minute. So we'll use calculator. 39 into 8. 
थ्री वन टू प्लस थ्री थ्री वन फाइव माइनस ट्वेल्व Once if your answer is correct, it will show like uh, your answer is correct. You can get your data. Click OK. Click Get Data. The files are answered. Click Next. So uh, here we can see like uh, extracted files. Mm. So here it is. And here we are having. those extracted files i mean uh, we unzip the data and store into this folder extracted files so uh, to decrypt the data we need a key we are having the key in pomute file so get your key from pomute file so uh, take that pomute file in d drive there will be a pomute file see here is a pomute file and select the key just copy it and paste it here click okay and paste it here click get plain text so here it is uh, received i mean the data is decrypted and stored into d drive plain folder plain text so in d drive we can see the plain so here it is click merge so to merge all the packets here we can view the actual data click evaluate this graph shows our efficiency using aes algorithm it takes maximum time to finish the process so in blowfish using blowfish with less execution time we can efficiently transfer the data we can efficiently secure and transfer the data thanks for watching